G'day viewers, this is Troy from Troy's Visual Arts Channel. In the last video you've seen I've, um, I've hooked up my sync pulse generator and power supply unit to this camera here, the AV, uh, sorry, VCK 2400ACE black and white Viticon tube camera. Well now I've got it hooked up to the AVC 3400 camera. Pretty much um, same type, 230 inch Viticon, but except I uh, made a couple of years later, about 969, around about to the early 70s, and we used with um, AV3400 Porter Pack VTRs, which supply power uh, and sync pulses for the horizontal vertical drive. Anyhow, um, yep. It um, also works very nicely with this camera too, supplying the vertical horizontal sync pulses and power and your video out straight to TV set. And we've got picture. The picture doesn't really look quite as good as the other camera because it looks to be out of focus and there appears to be some um, Moya patterning on the picture so this camera is out of adjustment I believe but that's something I can fix later on yep the viewfinder also works on this camera too I might have to test it with the other one but yep all systems are functional and it's yeah all working very nicely I might actually take off the lens that I'm using on this camera and use the zoomer lens to see if I get better results. So bear with me for a minute. Alrighty, put the um, zoom lens on. Hasn't improved the beat patterning, Moya patterning in the picture, but maybe we can probably get some better, sharper images. Can at least, um, yeah, actually see what we get. Images are still rather soft, but probably a little bit better than that of the smaller lens. Hey, I'm very glad this camera actually works, and there's no real internal issue apart from probably misadjustment the tube's not too bad either some spots but no big deal Yeah, this certainly needs a bit of focal adjustment. So I'll tweak with the electronic focus adjustment settings and see if I can get it any better. So there we have it. Two working cameras. I'm very, very happy about that. And I'm very happy that I, I can test um, any other camera of this sort using this method. So for you people who have these cameras and don't have their companion portable video tape recorder required to run them, this is the alternate way to test these cameras. And yeah, go to um, Richard's video and have a look at his. He's a bit more explained in detail and yeah, you'll learn how to do it. Hey, how's this is Troy from Troy's Visual Arts Channel, signing out.